it's a universal one. That's what we call it, universal law. It's been a grueling school year for 17-year-old Mitchell yeah, Gilman. With his basement bedroom serving as his classroom, he admits it's been hard to stay motivated during virtual learning. It was definitely a challenge not quite knowing my teachers, the atmosphere of not being in a classroom and sitting inside your house day after day. Uh, half of the fun part of school is going in and socializing with your friends. His extracurricular activities, like basketball, aren't happening. My day is a little bit more monotonous, less stuff to do. And while New York City secondary schools recently reopened, time actually in the classroom is limited. His mother got worried when he started sleeping more and eating less. Is he really excited about learning? No. He's not in a laboratory. He's not in the hallways. He's not in the cafeteria at school. He's not engaged in school. No more screen time. That's why parents like her in New York, New Jersey, and Los Angeles are taking school officials to court. In New York, so an online campaign that. raised nearly $25,000 to pay attorney Jim Mermigas to represent the them. Schools are the safest places for children. He blames and teachers unions, not safety concerns, for ongoing reopening delays, which he says are putting children at risk. There have been some kids who have committed suicide. The kids are depressed. They want to go back, and it's not only going back to school. They want to engage in their extracurricular activities, whether it's sports or chess club or whatever it may be. They want to go back to normalcy. A CDC study shows emergency room visits for mental health related issues among older children rose more than 30 percent at the height of the pandemic. In response to the lawsuit, New York's mayor argues that almost all city schools like Mitchell's are open for in-person learning. But parents point out that most students are only allowed to attend part time. And even when they're in the classroom, they are online, often learning from a teacher who's at home. Unions point to poor ventilation and overcrowded conditions as safety concerns unique to city schools. As for Mitchell, who attends a public performing arts school, there's more spring in his steps since dance instructions resumed. It's the one class he's able to do in person. His family and others are pushing for all classes to be in person by autumn. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.